What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. 2023 Tops Museum Collection Baseball Six Box Half Case Break PYT Number Five. <coughs> for sure. I, like I said, I don't, I don't trust Michigan, man. I never have. Ever since I've been call following college football since like what 2004 with like Oregon Dennis Dixon era. It just seemed like to me like the last few years, even with Harbaugh coaching, it's just like they get there, they're overhyped, and then when they get to play in a playoff game, they just lose. All right, guys, and then again, sorry, this was the R&B for the 14 teams and the names. But yeah, I think uh, Georgia losing messed up the beautiful Rose Bowl game that could have happened, Chad. I don't think that's going to happen anymore. It's either you guys are in it or you're not in it anymore. And you go play in the other bowl game. And one, two, three for the left, four, five, six for the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this will be for number six, guys. Yeah, I think it's. I think. I mean, I think Panic should win the, uh, the Heisman for sure now, but it's it's definitely between you and you got uh, your guy and the LSU guy now. Uh, for that reason, because Bo Nix lost. If Bo Nix would have won, then he would have had a better chance. Yeah, that was the one thing, man. I, I didn't know, I didn't realize that Penix threw like, I mean, even though seven interceptions is not a lot, but I didn't realize he threw that many. I mean, like I said, I, I think Bo Nix's stats were a little bit better, but I test. I think I, I te Penix is a real gunslinger in that sense, but um, but yeah, I, I think he threw a little too many because I mean, Bo Nix only had two up until yesterday, and you just see that second one. Man, I don't even blame Bo Nix for that interception. Dude, I didn't even know that guy was there. He, he went, like, out of balance with the Oregon player and then came out of nowhere. <laughs> like, what the hell? That one was wild. But, yeah, the Jaden the Daniels dude, or the one from LSU, he's, he's put up some crazy stats for what he's had with LSU. <laughs> but I would still give it to Nix, though. I mean, uh, not Nix. I'd still give it to Penix, though. Well, nice. We got the frame here. <laughs> well, honestly, you should have heard me, Chad. I was actually... If you go back to yesterday's stream and around that time, I don't know when it was. I was like... I was like... I was literally yelling, roll out, roll out, throw it away, next, throw it away. And then when he threw it, I'm like, good job. And then all of a sudden, the Washington guy pops out of nowhere. I'm like, what the hell? Where the hell did that guy come from? And then we seen the replay, and of course, the guy was out of bounds. I don't even think Bo Nix thought he was in play. So, I mean, I don't blame that interception on him. Randy Johnson. This shit was so funny. I was like, good job, Bo Nix, throwing it away. But then, that guy comes out of nowhere. Corbin Carroll, and then we got a Von Grissom. That's for the uh, Braves, Andrew. So they save that frame. We got that quad relic there of Matt Chapman. Oops, sorry, I gotta get some more sleeves. Dude, this game's gonna end 10 0. Blue Jays, Jacob with that one. 
Christian Yelich to 150. For the Marlins. Richard. And we got Ezekiel Tower. And then we got a Mackenzie Gore to 20. Washington. Nationals. 14 team RB. That is a 5 out of 20. 5 is Stephen Kendrick. All right, this is the non-numbered card as well. We're going to go to the RMB non-numbered. All right, we've got a frame, guys. Here we go. Right in the first box, too. Behind Gunner. Oh, Nelly. It is a Mike Trout for the Angels. And that's part of the 14-team RMB. Going to spot one, Steven Kendrick. How about that, buddy? That definitely paid off selling it out, man. And that was uh, your last spot mojo spot, too. To top it all off. <laughs> there you go. Very nice, buddy. All right, next box, guys. So we have one of the cases on this side. Remember, there's supposed to be two in every case. Which is like a jumbo patch or jumbo patch autograph or authentic really. patch autograph. All right, here we go. Jake Cronenworth, little patch there for the Padres, 14 team R&B. That's 15 out of 35. Five is going to Stephen Kendra. We got a canvas here of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. for the Blue Jays, going to Jacob, and then a quad relic there for the Cardinals, going to Jason. 13 out of 99. Freddie Freeman, the 99, for the Dodgers. One of the 99 going to Stephen Kendrick. And how about a Steve Garvey for the Dodgers? That's 17 out of 20. Spot seven is another one for Stephen Kendrick. I think he just tied Anthony Johnson, right? And how about Juan Soto? 47 out of 50. Padres, 7. No one for Stephen Kendrick, man. You're murdering this break. Or Thomas, sorry. I'm going to say Anthony Johnson.
Oh, I'll talk to you, man. It was 3 nothing the last time I checked. What if the playoff fo football or the co committee goes like this? FSU wins, they're in because they're undefeated. Springer, it's a 99. What if they go like Michigan, Washington, Texas, and they just throw in Ohio State in there and just leave Georgia and Alabama out? What if they did that? That would cause massive chaos, right? <laughs> Vargas, Paris. No, you leave FSU in there. It's 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 Michigan, Washington, FSU, Tony Gwynn to fifteen, and you just throw in Ohio State in there because. Like you said, you can't put Alabama in there. and You can't put Texas in there if Alabama... Or you can't put Te Alabama in there if you're going to put Texas if there's only one slot because the head-to-head -head should matter. You can't put Georgia in there because FSU is undefeated and, you know, Texas did beat the team you lost to, right? But like you said, Ohio State's just sitting there minding its own business and they throw them in there. Barry Larkin. 11 or 31 out of 50 Because it's like who beat who right like well, I beat you you guys lost to them, you know It's like yeah, but then I beat them and you guys lost to them That's what I'm saying. So what if they did that they just left out the two SEC teams because they lost to common opponents I mean, the one really messing it up is FSU, honestly. That's the only one really messing it up. 79 out of 99 on Neil Cruz. Pirates, 14 team RB. 79, it's about nice, Jason K. And we got a Wade Boggs for Boston. Come on, Chad. If you want to be the best, you got to beat the best, bro. Don't take the easy route, bro. Because the last thing you want is for them to go to the national championship and then get smoked. <laughs> is that what you'd rather have? You'd rather them have like a cakewalk at number at the playoff game and then just get your dreams crushed in the national championship game? I don't think I'd want that. I've already seen that happen with Oregon. I don't want that. <laughs> Of course, but I'm just saying that you shouldn't want the weakest link, man. Just, you know, you want to knock out the best in the, in the first round. So that way you're the best in the next round. You don't want it to be in the first round. You'd rather be in the second round. But what if that second round doesn't happen? What's going to crush you more? Losing in the first round or losing in the national championship?
Uh, Bob Gibson for the Cardinals. Rashida. Ben Kershaw. Mookie Betts. That's uh, 24 to 25. And that's 24 going to Steven Kendrick. True. I think they lost to Alabama, right? When they went to that college football playoff. 6 out of 25. Jim Palmer. That's part of the 14-team R&B. That's a 6. Spot 6 is Mark L. We got Trey Turner to 299. That's for Washington, 14 team RB. 38, 8 is Jason K. And of Dustin Pedroia, nice momentous material patch autographs to 10. Red Sox going to Jason. Bryce Harper to 99. 67 out of 99. Uh, Philly, Steven with that one. I don't think I remember watching that year really because that's the year that Oregon had a horrible year, I think. That's right after Mario left. So I think once their season was over, I didn't really care for bowl games. I don't even know if they made a bowl. I don't even think they made a bowl game that year. <laughs> 2016. Who won the national championship in 2016? Was it Alabama? Because I remember 2014 FSU won. In 2015, Oregon lost to Ohio State, but they beat FSU at the Rose Bowl game, which was fun. And then 2016 was out. Who, who did Alabama play? Getting rid of the red jerseys for 2024. What are they doing then? Are they just going all retro now? We might have a random. Actually, no, no randomizer here, guys. Both of these teams are part of the 14 team RB. 47 out of 50. Spot 7 is going to Steven. That's a Josiah Gray and George Kirby duel. City Connect. Okay. Oh, that's cool, I guess. Sorry, I was old Peraza's right there for the Yankees. Going to Michael to 150. And then we have a Johnny Bench for the Reds. Justin straight up. That's 9 out of 99. <clears throat> we have the meats. You see Arby's is doing like a Good Burger commercial or promo? Where they're serving Good Burgers, not Mondo Burgers? All right, then we got a Jose Altuve to 10. 8 out of 10 for Houston going to Kev. <clears throat> Another Jose Altuve. This time just a number to 299. <coughs> 
And a Michael Harris. Nice for the Braves. The 299. 83 out of 299. Alright, down to the last box, guys. Good luck. Intercepted! Wow, this dude, man, LSU, uh, uh, Louisville's just dropping picks, bro. Bro, since when do you catch a ball like this? Just leave your hands right here. Catch it like this. Don't clap your hands. Ozzy, twenty We got a Max Muncie. That is six out of fifteen. Six. One, two, Mark. And a Carlton Fisk for Boston. Going to Jason. Max Scherzer. For Texas. Going to Kenny. Corbin Carroll. 63 out of 75. I don't know if Justin. And we have a Logan Webb for the Giants. That is 10 out of 25 for the Giants. Walter. There you go, man. Hit a little hit there at the end. As the Yankees going to Michael. Little Derek Jeter. All right, guys, so just basically some non-numbered base and potentially some of these canvas collection inserts. I think go to some of the armies like that Clean Kershaw, that one there, and Rocky's one, and then whatever non-numbered base there is. But a very nice half case right there, guys. We did get one of the cases. There should be another one hiding. Obviously, you had a Juan Soto there, Garvey. You got that Mike Trout, Gore. Very solid first half. Like I said, second half is in the store. If you guys want to run it back? Let's switch scenes and let's do that non-numbered base lock giveaway. <clears throat> is that Jake Plummer's kid? Jack Plummer? Roll the dice. It is a five and a five ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <coughs> and ten times. Justin. There you go, man. A little extra base lock going to you.
Appreciate it, guys. Second half's in the store. Let's get that one rolling. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.